guys, and uh, bienvenidos to La Bella Vida. I'm Andy Sevilla. And I'm Ashley Flores. So we have a great show for you today. We will be discussing Latinos and media. Our special guest is Jonathan Valdez from Orange Juice and Biscuits, and we will be in La Cocina with Audrey. So stay tuned, and uh, if not, you'll miss out. <laughs> All right, so uh, picking up with Latinos and media. Uh, Soledad O'Brien is actually going to do a, a special on it for CNN. Mm -hmm. um, I think it's airing in November of Latinos in America. So right. I think that'll give a good insight as to the struggles Latinos have here in America and, you know, immigration or, or crime or, you know, just social stratification right. and all that. I'm extremely excited about it because they did black in America and right. it was just a matter of time before they did Latinos in America. So let's see how that comes out. I don't know how what the format is or how they do it, but should be pretty good. Yeah, I don't either, but I'm hoping, I'm hoping that it'll highlight not just the insensitivity that's portrayed um, in the media f of Hispanics. I hope it it also uh, you know highlights the the positive attributes that that, that you know our race has. Right. Um, you know because usually in the media they only will talk about um, crime or you know um, or. I've even heard on, on Fox News the border jumping, which I think is a complete ludicrous term. Um, yeah, so hopefully, you know, they'll highlight more of the, um, you know, Positive. like Justice Sotomayor right. or, you know, how many Hispanic senators there are and stuff like that. So Or the impact that we're having in America as far as Latinos go and what we're doing to change it. Um, speaking of crime and immigration and whatnot, uh, there's this... Brownout report that the National Association of Hispanic Journalists does every few years, and uh, they did this this research over a time span of ten years, and they found that over ten years, only one percent of all television news reports were done on Latinos. Only one percent out of the thousands of news reports that were done, and two thirds of it was on crime, and the other part was immigration. Yeah, well, usually, actually, usually, what makes the news. Um, you know, it's it's sad to say, but it's for ratings and it's crime stories and you know a drug busts and and all that, as opposed to highlighting the positive things that the right. Hispanic culture is doing. Um, and and it's so broad, the Hispanic community. Um, and and there's been so many great accomplishments. You know, um, and also I I I was looking, um, I, I heard that the Texas uh, legislature was considering um, removing. Uh, Chavez from from the curriculum to teach students who was, who was a big you know he was a uh, big on farm reform really? for farmers and, and I mean I think that's that's a huge thing that he did and and they're considering you know removing it how sad would that be I mean as as it is we don't learn much about our, our culture or our history and then for them to in addition remove stuff like that yeah so uh, media has okay there's television there's magazines there's radio um, our guest today is he does blogging right. he does a or lot of the social, new media right as they call it. social media yeah, the social media which so, is picking up like crazy I know so it covers all platforms yeah I feel that if we have more Latinos out there representing not only on television but just get on a computer and blog of it you know it'll make a difference yeah absolutely we need I think we need more insight from Latinos um, they just need to, you know, we just need to get out there and, and put ourselves out there because it's not just, we're not either, you know, just doing immigration stuff or, or crime or, or even like just being sexy. Mm -hmm. um, as you know, they say Latinos all, all are sexy. I know. Now, um, but you know, like how they portray Jennifer Lopez, you know, what do they talk about? Her buttocks. Right. And, and that's how they portray, whore, uh, portray her. And, uh, um, you know, it's crazy. It's like, you know, maybe she did something good. Yeah, well, I'm sure she I did. mean, she is a representative <laughs> for Latinas. I mean, sexy as she is, but she she represents yeah, us. Yeah, or how you were discussing in your Latina Living segment last last time, how uh, Sofia Vergara, you know, is in the uh, in the yes. show of Modern don't, Family. Don't even get me started on I that. I know it's crazy because it's like you know that's all we are, sexy. That's how that's how sexy, everybody sees us. Marrying a rich white guy and with a kid. Right. And like uh, Dr. Subervi, who's going to be in the, in I interviewed him uh, last week. He's going to talk a little bit about how it shows how much we value ourselves. And then the children watch this and what do they think that that's all we are, you know? Um, Dr. Federico Subervi, really passionate man. He, uh, he made a difference in my life. He's the reason that I wanted to do this television show. Great professor at Texas State University. He teaches the course on Latinos and media. That's how I know all my statistics, and he's the reason that I'm here today doing 
what I'm doing. So yeah, and I know you you sat down and had an interview with him. Right. Right. So let's so check it out. So, with no further ado, now to the interview with Dr. Federico Suburbi.